Hey guys, it's Monica. I'm going to just do a, a quick little video here for you today, only because it's like, oh my God, I was unsubscribed to your channel, or I turned on notifications and I didn't get notified, or I don't know how to turn on the notifications, or I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. It's not you. It's not you, it's YouTube. And so what happens is YouTube itself has they play havoc. They unsubscribe you to channels. They, you know, they unsubscribe your notifications or they uncheck your notifications. It's really wacky how that happens. So what I, what I found out firsthand today is a good friend of mine, Life with Lily, her name is Sheila, uploaded a video and I am subscribed to her and I also have my notifications turned on. I did not get a notification of her upload. And I knew that she had done an upload. So I went to look for her video. And when I opened it up, I saw that what was selected for notifications was occasionally. That wasn't what I wanted. So anyways, when I looked at that, I said, wow, YouTube added an occasional, a always, a never, a content creators, you know, post updates. They had all these different options. And I think when they rolled that out, they kind of put everyone in a lump category of an occasional. So go over to your favorite YouTuber, check that notification. I'm gonna show you how in a moment and make sure that you select always and you also select their content updates. And every now and then you should go over to their channel. I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So this is an off topic video, nothing to do with beauty, nothing to do with skincare, but answering those questions because so many of you said to me recently, oh, Monica, I'm so happy to see you back. Where have you been? And I'm like, I haven't been anywhere. I've been uploading once or twice, sometimes three times a week, but usually at least twice a week consistently. And and these people that have been, you know, leaving me comments that have been subscribers of mine for a long time, all of a sudden I, I never saw them on my channel anymore. And it it wasn't that they weren't supporting me. It was that they did not get any notifications that I had a video and they may not have known how to find me, how to go to my channel, how to look to see if I had any content. So that's what I'm going to share with you, you know, how to go and check out your favorite YouTuber, which I hope I am. <laughs> and if not, you see that little bell, you see the subscribe below this video, make sure you hit subscribe. So it says subscribed and then hit that little bell and then check out the notifications that I'm going to share with you. I will be updating. Um, my next video is going to be my diet update and I'm getting ready to, you know, change that around a little bit. I had premiered it, but it was going to be Super Bowl Sunday. So I might switch that around. This video is being shot entirely on my iPhone. So I keep looking at the screen instead of where the camera is. And that's a pet peeve of mine. So I keep trying to focus on over there and not looking dead on here because I know when you see it, if I'm looking here, it looks like I'm looking away. But I think it's human nature to try to see if we're in frame or not. And the other thing is that, um, you know, always try to be, oh, I've got an itchy shoulder. Um, try to be a little conscious of your sound because I was watching a video this morning. I think it was Maria, Life with Maria. No, not Life with Maria. Anyways, it was Maria's channel. I'll link it below. And she had some pet peeves um, on YouTubers. And I remember saying something like, you know, what I don't like is the sound. So if you play music in your videos, just be aware of the fact that if the music is the same volume level as your voice is, your music is going to drown out your voice. And for most people, if they can't hear what you're saying, they're going to tune out. So that's my little pet peeve. Anyway, stay tuned and thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Here is actually what it looks like when I went to Shayla's channel. I could see that I was subscribed and I could see that I had rung that bell. You can see that it is clicked right there. And then when I actually opened it up, I had, now I changed it because when I first opened it up, whoops, it said occasional and nothing else. And I said, oh my gosh, no, I want to have all of the noti notifications. Whenever Sheila uploads a video, I want to be notified. And I also want to see any of her creator posts. And that is when the content creator sends a message out to all of their subscribers, perhaps asking a question or perhaps giving a quick update as to why they're not doing a video. 
and all of that. The thing you need to remember when you do that is you always have to hit save. So select all and select include create a post, hit save, make sure you're subscribed. I think it's just really important. And then if you, you know, every now and then I think it's a good idea to go on over to the creator's channel. If you click on the name, like in this case, Life with Lily, but I'm going to show you mine because I have it set up in playlist. If you were to click on my name under the video, it would bring you to my physical channel. And when you go to my physical channel, you'll see that I have, it's sort of a layout. If you are a subscriber or return, a returning subscriber, this is what you would see on my physical channel. And the way I have it set up is I have a featured video that I select to put in that featured spot right there on the top of my channel. For whatever reason, I want to feature this. I called it Pretty Little Liars or whatever it is. And that was just my featured videos. Underneath that, I have in a horizontal view an uploads feature. So I have all of my uploads in a horizontal view in the next category so you can see them here you could scroll if you ever thought you missed one of my videos you just go to my channel you could scroll back and forth and you could say oh yeah I didn't see that video and below that I have my favorite playlist I have that first because that's the one I'm most active on and that is my beauty anti-aging playlist I show it in a vertical position only because I think it's visually more attractive to have it sort of broken up. Instead of all these rows, it kind of brings your eyes and focuses in a different area. The next playlist I have is my vlogs. They are my least popular videos, but I love doing them. So I usually put all of my vlogs in this playlist and you could do the same thing. You could scroll back and forth and see what you might have missed. Then I have a number of other playlists, including 2018 favorites. When you open that up, you'll see that it'll bring you, when I say 2018 favorites, I wanted to save some of those videos that other content creators created talking about their 2018 favorites because I find those videos fascinating. The first one on my list happens to be Marlene Fab and Glam. You can go right down the list. You can see Sheila, Life with Lily, Natalie. You can see a number of the videos that I considered my favorites of the 2018 favorites that other content creators have done. And so now I'm going to scroll further down and you can see I have my eyelash. I have product reviews. I have live streaming. And then I have again another horizontal playlist and this is the one that is my popular videos meaning that these videos have the most views and you can see the top ones are a lot of my retin-a my care post my Nivea and then of course going topless at Hampton Beach was popular <laughs> and the playlists continue on so I think it's really helpful if you really want to get to know a content creator to visit their channel and check out all of those videos you might have missed I hope this is helpful. I hope you remember to subscribe and please like this video. I truly appreciate all your support.